As we continue our look at childhood poverty, Cincinnati's crisis, we're investigating whether various anti-poverty programs are doing what their advocates claim will happen. One of Mayor John Cranley's initiatives, which actually began before the latest push to curb child poverty, is a jobs program called Hand Up. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hurst checks out the claims and the results so far. What do we got going on, bro? At age 53, Christopher Starr is trying to prove that it's never too old to find a recipe for turning around your life. That looks good. Very good. Real good. Smells good. Starr is a student here at Cincinnati Cooks. This 15-year-old program run by the Free Store Food Bank has trained about 100 unemployed or underemployed people a year for jobs in the food service industry. But now, with extra money from Mayor John Cranley's Hand Up program, one thing that's allowed us to do is bring on some additional chef trainers. So our students are really getting some hands-on, one-on-one training with individual chefs. Cincinnati Cooks expects to train 70 extra people this budget year, people like Christopher Starr. With them being able to put a seat down and say, hey, this chair is for you to learn, you know what I'm saying? They're not concerned um, about our past. They're interested in our future. So that's the proverbial, it's a hand up, not a hand out. In his 2014 State of the City address, Mayor Cranley set a goal of transitioning 4,000 Cincinnatians from living in poverty to living in a household with at least one full-time provider, that over the next four years. His plan to do that? The Hand Up Initiative, $1.3 million, divided among six organizations, money which otherwise would have gone to other agencies. We reprogrammed existing federal dollars and cut out programs that we thought were ineffective. But there was controversy at City Hall about the cuts. Michelle Dillingham was a member of the advisory board which recommended how federal community development dollars were spent. She says the mayor, with a council majority, took money from programs like rent subsidies for the poor and home repairs for low-income seniors. And what was so alarming about the process was that the mayor simply wrote up a policy proposal, inserted it at the last minute, and it functionally stripped away, you know, lots of money away from very important, long-standing, vetted programs into job training. Now, there's nothing wrong with job training, of course. What the problem was is that you were shifting dollars, you know, basically robbing Peter to pay Paul. And, and that had some real consequences. Well, fundamentally, it's premised on the idea that there's dignity in work, and the solution, the greatest solution to poverty is a job. But the ambitious goal of 4,000 people out of poverty in four years, a 5% reduction in the poverty rate, is not 4,000 jobs. The mayor's number also includes children of those who potentially get jobs, children like one-year-old Jayla Mays. Jayla's mother, Makasha Stone, is in a different hand-up program at an agency called Cincinnati Works. A high school dropout, Stone lives in Avondale, one of several inner-city neighborhoods where hand-up participants have to live. With the little one around, it just makes me push myself more. This program is not 10 weeks of job training like Cincinnati Cooks. Rather, this is a one-week workshop on job readiness, resume writing, interview skills, navigating the online world of job applications. The first budget year for Hand Up is not finished yet. So far, though, the various agencies combined are tracking for 70 to 90 percent of their graduates to get jobs, which would meet the Hand Up goal of about 350 parents hired and 650 of their children impacted annually. In my past, I always like went and never finished. Here, I'm finishing. So with that being said, me finishing, it helps me prepare my daughter to grow up to know that she can finish and never stop. Don't quit, never quit, keep going, and you'll accomplish whatever you want in life. And as you just saw, there are different approaches to fighting poverty. Short-term immediate assistance like rent or food versus longer-term job training. And there's just not enough money to do enough of both, so somebody's going to lose out. That's one of the things the Mayor's Child Poverty Collaborative is wrestling with. It's taking longer than expected. We'll look at that tomorrow. Back to you. Jeff, thanks very much. The Hand Up Initiative offers training in several areas, and we have a link at local12.com for you. Go to the News section and look for the Get It button.